We were all so excited when they told us there was swimming in Hogwarts Legacy. However, we were also equally disappointed when they said there was no underwater exploration. Except, there is. Kind of. Whilst we won't be munching on giddyweed and fighting off mermaids at the depths of underwater ruins, we can find some loot at the bottom of the Black Lake. And all of this can be accessed from the optional side quest, The Lost Astrolabe, which I'm going to go over how you get to that here in this video and explain all the loot you can find across the Black Lake. To get to this side quest, you have to head south from Hogwarts along the Black Lake till you reach a small village. This is also the place you meet Natsai as part of the main story quest where you complete the girl from Wagadu. If you follow the path along the Black Lake and head towards the pier that jets off slightly into it, you'll be able to find and see the start of the quest, the lost astrolabe, given to you by Grace Pinch Smedley. As you talk to her, she explains that her grandparents once travelled along the Black Lake, but had a really bad shipwreck in this area and lost the astrolabe, which was a family prized possession. If you're wondering what an astrolabe actually is like I was, it's basically like an older version of the sextant, which is an old version of a compass, and is used to align with the stars to figure out your longitude latitude and help with navigation throughout the oceans. We can probably also assume, given this family of wizards, that it also has some sort of magical property. Either way, it's a really valuable item for this family and Grace wants you to go get it back. Well, Grace explained where the shipwreck happened and where to go have a look and asked you if you want to go fetch it for her. Now, it's kind of ironic that she doesn't go do it herself because her father told her that they can't go in the water after the accident, which is really counterintuitive given that she's in Slytherin, which is literally the water-based house. Either way, you accept the mission and you get to go on this little diving spree. When you enter the water and avoid this nasty looking frog thing, you'll get to a certain area where you're meant to explore and you'll see these bubbles arising from the bottom of the Black Lake, which are your diving spots to go down. You interact with one of these spots and your character will dive under the water and resurface with a specific item. Now I actually did find one of these dive spots before starting the mission when I was having a bit of an issue with the frog and it wouldn't let me go down. Now I don't know whether that's because I was in combat or whether you can't go down until you start this mission so I would recommend going and starting the mission before you try to find these dive locations. One of these locations will of course contain the astrobe and the rest will contain some form of interesting gear. In total I found six dive spots, I've seen some walkthroughs say four or five so there are six that I found so make sure you have a careful look. I also went and had a bit of a look around the rest of the Black Lake, I swam for quite a long time trying to find other dive locations because you can see the bubbles from a fair distance but I couldn't see any other than these six so if you do see any more please let us know down in the comments and we can all kind of share that together. This is all the gear that I received but I will go into specifics about what this gear is in just a moment. Once you got the astrolabe and all your new fancy gear, head back to Grace, maybe skip a stone along the way and you have one of three options about how you want to end this quest. Option one, give the very useless astrolabe back to Grace, she'll be very happy, skip along, give you your rewards and that'll be the end of it, she's in a good mood. Option two is you pull a Geralt and you say that you want more money for it, in which she will comply and doesn't seem to have much of an issue with it again, leaves in a very happy mood having her asteroid back. The third option, if you're just going to be a bit more evil in your playthrough, is you can just refuse to give it to her and say that you like it and you want to keep it. She won't be too happy with you, she'll storm off, but I don't see it having any long-term effect on the game from that decision. There's been a couple decisions which change dialogue like that, but don't seem to have any major endgame impact. All three options though will grant you 180 XP along with the mermaid mask appearance. Again, a very important distinction there between actual gear and appearances. Actual gear are things that you can equip, they have their own stats, and appearances are always your transmog where you can change the look of that gear to whatever you want. So your mermaid mask is, a, is an appearance, which you can make anything look like, but it's not a specific piece of gear itself. If you go for option one, you'll get the standard 180 XP and the mermaid mask. If you go for option two, you'll get that same, except you'll get 20 galleons as well because you've asked for a bit more money. And for option three, you'll get the 180 XP, the mermaid mask, and you'll get to keep the asteroid, which from what I can see has absolutely no use at all. You don't seem to be able to sell it. I don't see anywhere that you can use it. It just seems like a useless piece of junk. As for the various loot around the lake, this is what those items were. Of course, when you find the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe, you also get three Wiganwell potions at the same time, so that's a nice little boost for those health potions there. One of the dive spots will give you the stylish casual school uniform, which is of green rarity. Uh, it requires level 15 to use and has 34 defense. You can also find the orange eye of newt goggles, which is a blue rarity, which is obtainable at level 16 and has 35 defense. In terms of neckwear, you can find the Crimson Clockwork Scarf, which is level 15 of green rarity and has 32 offense. But also as neckwear, you have the Golden Snitch Scarf, which is blue rarity at level 16 with only 26 offense. 
The legendary item that you can find with one of these diving spots is the striking paisley hat. It's a legendary item which is level 15 requirement and has 42 defense. So that's all the underwater adventures that you seem to be able to have within Hogwarts Legacy. Now, they're all the dive locations that I found while searching the area and a little bit of the Black Lake. Of course, the thing is massive. There's a lot of water that runs through the game. And Grace did say, if you have one of the more positive endings, that you should look out for more opportunities to dive. So there is potential there are more dive spots located around the waters. So if you see any of them or after this video, if you know of any, let us know down in the comments and we can all find some of those more together. And if you're looking for even more Hogwarts Legacy content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I put out, including one of these two here, which you should go check out. Why not? What is she going to do?